Hey, what's up guys, Dvanesh from my Geeks blog and today I'm gonna share a number of tips to use Apple Notes apps like a pro on your iPhone and iPad. So without wasting further time, let's get started. First in the list is change default account location of Notes. iCloud is set as the default account for Notes app but if you want to store your Notes in other location or want to keep them locally on your iOS device, you can do it from the settings app. What you have to do is launch settings app, scroll down and select Notes and enable on my iPhone account. Now tap on the default account and select the preferred location to store your notes. Second in the list is sort notes. One of the simplest ways to keep your notes in line with your workflow is to ideally sort them. Again go back to settings app, scroll down and select notes and tap on sort notes by. From here, you can sort your notes by date edited, date created or title. Have you accidentally deleted an important note and regret your action? Don't worry, iOS lets you bring your removed notes into life again with ease. All you have to do is open the notes app, head over to the recently deleted folder Tap on the edit from the top right corner and select the notes you want to restore. Then tap on the move to from the bottom left and select the folder of your choice. Well, you will be able to restore the deleted notes within 30 days. Then after the app will permanently delete them. Want to create PDF files of your notes? Good thing is that you don't need any third party app for that. All you have to do is open the note and hit the share button and choose create pdf from the share sheet. You can also annotate the file using the markup tool. Once you are done select save file to and then save it in choice of folder in iCloud drive. If you want to send the pdf file via email or messages tap on the share button and then choose the preferred medium to send it. From the share sheet, you can also store your notes in books app or any other third party documents app. Many a times we want to jump the specific points or want to scan through some of the main points in a long note. Thanks to built in search tool that allows quick search within notes. All you have to do is tap on the share button and then select find in note from the share sheet. Now type in word or phrase you want to find. The word will be highlighted and you can use upward or downward arrow to navigate through the highlighted word. Adding notes widgets to lock screen allows me to instantly access the notes without having to dig into the app. Just swipe left on the home screen to bring lock screen. Scroll down and tap on edit. And tap on the plus sign next to notes to add widgets in the lock screen. You can also customize the notes options for lock screen from the settings app. Launch settings app, scroll down and select notes and tap on access notes from lock screen. From here select off to prevent notes from being accessed from the lock screen or select always create new notes to create a new notes from the lock screen or you can select resume last note to edit the last notes you created from the lock screen. Well, just like lock screen, you can also add notes to control center to quickly jot down your thoughts. All you have to do is launch settings app, scroll down and select control center and tap on customize controls. From here add notes to control center. Do you know you can share your notes with your colleague, friends or family and work on those notes in real time? You just need to share notes with their Apple ID. What you have to do is open note that you want to share. Tap the collaborate icon at the top of the screen. And then choose how you would like to send your invitation. You can send the invite through messages, mail, social media and more. 
and the recipient's name you can send invites individually or as a group and just send it you can keep your most important nodes pinned to the top of the list just find out the node that you want to pin then swipe right on that node and hit the pin button in case if you want to unpin it swipe right and hit the unpin button If you like customizing your knot, you shouldn't let this one go away. What it basically does is allows you to change the paper style of the file. Currently there are 7 styles including the default one to choose from. Just open the knot and hit the share button, select lines and grid, now choose the preferred paper style. Text selection is somewhat easy in knots app. However, trackpad mode makes it even faster. What you have to do is press and hold the keyboard to activate trackpad. If you have iPad or non 3D touch iPhone, long press on the spacebar to enter trackpad mode. Now move cursor where you want to start. Then keep the trackpad activated and press into the screen again and it will highlight the word. Now slide your finger down or up to highlight the text. If you have iPad or non 3D touch iPhone, tap with another finger on the trackpad to activate the selection mode. Now if you want to format the selected text, just tap the plus button. Now tap on the font button from the toolbar. And from here you can change the format of the text as per your need. Once you are done, just close it. You can do a number of things from the toolbar. You can add a table. You can copy, share or convert table content to text or just delete table if you don't need it. You can also add checklist from the toolbar. Just tap once the checklist button and start adding your checklist. From the toolbar you can also scan documents, take photo or video to attach in your note or you can add photo directly from the library and select add sketch to add your signature or sketch in your knot. Apart from photos and videos, you can also attach links, maps and other kinds of files from the apps that create them. All you need to do is smash the share button and select add to knot in the share sheet. In the end, drop the attachment to your preferred knot. Adding attachments in iPad is even more simple. Dock the Knots app next to Safari or any other app and simply drag and drop links, photos or text from the one app to Knots app. Well, if you want to see attachments you have added to your knots, what you have to do is from the knot list, tap the four square icon in the bottom left and the knot apps will display all attachments by photo and video, links, maps, etc. Tap on the attachments you want to view. If you want to see the knot that is attached to, tap saw in knots in the top right corner. Well, keyboard is handy while you are typing but it fills the large bottom area of the screen. It would be better if we can hide keyboard when we are just reading the items, right? And luckily you can. On your iPhone, slide your finger down from above the keyboard and it will start to disappear. Hiding keyboard is even more simple on iPad. Just tap once on the lower right keyboard button and keyboard will disappear. And just tap once anywhere on the screen when you want to bring it back. If you have got a lot of knots, you can organize them into neat categories. To create folders, just hit the new folder from the bottom right corner. Give the folder a name and tap save to create the folder. Now to move a knot to a new folder, go to the knots list. Hit edit from the top right corner. Select the nodes and hit the move to button from the bottom left and select the folder that you created. 
Well, last but not the least is protecting your nodes and it is actually the most important one. If you don't want anyone to bump into your private node, you can lock it out and it's damn simple to do. Just launch settings app, scroll down and select nodes, then select password, enter your password, verify it and also enter a hint for the password. And in the end, tap on done to confirm. Well, that's all guys. I hope you liked exploring tips for Nords app along with me. And let us know the wildcards that are worth adding to the list in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel for such amazing all things Apple videos. I am Dhanesh signing off and we'll catch you in the next one.